Calculus Differentiation, Product, Quotient and Chain Rules Differentiation uses specific terms and some of them have equivalent meaning. For example, a function can be written as y equals something or fx equals something. The derivative of a function can be written as dy dx or f dash x. Both of these terms are equivalent as are these terms here. The dy dx or the f dash x or the derivative of a function means the rate of change of y, in this case the variable on the left hand side, with respect to x. When differentiating functions we can use the general rule which states that if fx is x to the power of n then the derivative f dash x or dy dx is n times x to the n minus 1. So this number here is achieved from this as follows. You look at the power that was there, the n, take it down and it becomes a multiplier. Leave the x and then reduce the original power by 1. So nx to the n minus 1. In the case of fx is ax to the n, you simply have a coefficient or a multiplier before the x to the n. So the f dash x dy dx is a times the same derivative, a nx to the n minus 1. Once again, taking the n, the original power down, as a multiplier and reducing it by 1. The product rule is used when you've got two functions, u and v, both of them functions of x and one is the product of you want to multiply one by the other to give the product so if fx is uv then the derivative overall of all of this is u the first function times the derivative of the second dv dx plus v the second function times du dx the derivative of the first in the case of the quotient rule this is where f of x is written as one function over another. We've got a numerator and a denominator here, both in terms of x. So the formula here, all of these formula given in the tables for the derivative f dash x or dy dx is v times the one on the bottom du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. That formula is given and we'll use that for a quotient example. And finally, in the case of the chain rule, if fx is u, which itself is a function of vx, then the derivative fx, or dy dx in this case, really what you can do is you can first get du dv, one function in terms of v, and then dv dx, and they will cancel to work that out. We'll see these formula in use, and they'll become easier to understand then. So let's take an example now with the product rule. Differentiate 1 plus 3x times 4 minus x squared with respect to x. Well, we could simply multiply this by this. Create an expanded term with x's and x squareds and x cubes in it and then differentiate it. But in this case, we're going to do it using the product rule. So we write the function y plus is 1 plus 3x times 4 minus x squared. So in effect, we've got one thing by another. y is equal to u, one thing, v, the other. And u here, if we were to substitute, would be 1 plus 3x. v would be 4 minus x squared. And both u and v would be functions of x. So u now is 1 plus 3x, and v is 4 minus x squared. And we can write these functions now in a box, because we'll use them later. But if we write u is equal to 1 plus 3x, we can also get the derivative of u with respect to x. du dx, differentiating a constant, we get 0, and differentiating 3x, we get 3. Because if this was y was 3x, dy dx would be 3. Given that it's u is 3x, or 1 plus 3x, du dx is 3. Similarly, in the case of v, v is 4 minus x squared dv dx, well, differentiating a constant gives us 0. The minus stays minus. x squared, the 2 would come down to give us 2x. 2 minus 1 would be 1. 2x to the 1 is just 2x. So it's dv dx is minus 2x. So in this table here, we have done our substitutions for u and v. 
u and v, and we've calculated du dx and dv dx. So now we'll keep this information and we'll now use the product formula that says dy dx is u times dv dx plus v times du dx. But we have values now for u and for dv dx and indeed for all these terms. So substituting now we get dy dx is 1 plus 3x for the u minus 2x for the dv dx. 4 minus x squared which is our v and du dx is our 3. So this is really just an algebraic expression now and we can multiply in. Multiplying the minus 2x in here we get minus 2x minus 2x by 3x we get minus 6x squared 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times minus x squared is minus 3x squared. So again now we just have an algebraic expression. Joining things up we can see the minus 6x squared and the minus 3x squared the minus 2x and the plus 12. And because these two are joined together, minus 6x squared and minus 3x squared gives a total of minus 9x squared minus 2x plus 12. And that is the derivative of the original question we were asked, where y was equal to u times v or 1 plus 3x times 4 minus x squared. If we wanted to do that without using the product rule, we could have simply multiplied 1 plus 3x by 4 minus x squared. That would have given us 4 minus x squared for this. 3x by 4, the 12x, and 3x by minus x squared would be minus 3x cubed. We could rearrange that, the minus 3x cubed here, the minus x squared, the 12x, and the 4. And given that we have the general rule now for the differentiation of a y, we can say dy dx is the minus 3 would stay, 3 would come down, so it would be minus 9, x cubed would become the x squared, minus x squared, we, the differentiation of that would be minus 2x, taking the 2 down, and for the 12x we would just get 12. And that dy dx, or derivative minus 9x squared, minus 2x plus 12, is exactly what we got using the product rule. So the product rule works and it's very often used particularly where the terms are quite complicated in their own right. You wouldn't always want to multiply them out. Example 2, the quotient rule. Differentiate y equals 3x over 2x plus 3 with respect to x. We're going to use the quotient rule. So we prepare to start our question. And in the place of the one on top, we write u, a function of x, it's u is 3x. And in the case of the one on the bottom, we say v in place of 2x plus 3. So u is 3x, v is 2x plus 3, and we once again create the box. u is 3x, v is 2x plus 3, but we can now do the first derivatives. If u is 3x, du dx of 3x is 3 the x term just disappears. v is 2x plus 3, again, differentiating a constant, we get nothing, and differentiating 2x, we keep the 2, but the x just disappears, because it's x to the 1, 1 times x to the 0, etc. So we just get dv dx is 2. So we're going to keep this data and use it later. So the formula for the quotient rule is as follows dy dx is v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. And this is in the tables and we can just transcribe it. But we have the values for each of these component terms. So dy dx is v, which is 2x plus 3, du dx, which is 3, minus u, which is 3x, dv dx, which is 2, all over v squared, which is 2x plus 3 squared. And after this, it's, it's just algebra, really, multiplying in. So 3 into 2x goes 6x, 3 by 3 is 9, and this is minus 6x. On the bottom, as before, 2x plus 3 squared. And it looks like those 6x's are going to cancel, so we're left with dy dx is 9 over 2x plus 3 to be squared. And that is the derivative of the original function u over v, or 3x over 2x plus 3. We now look at example 3, the chain rule. We're asked to differentiate y equals 5 minus x squared cubed with respect to x. Now this is tricky. 
we could multiply it out by itself three times and work it out but this mightn't always be three it could be 13 we could be there a long time so what we do is we prepare the equation again and we say we don't like this bit in the middle we're going to simplify this so instead of 5 minus x squared we're just going to call that u so in effect we've got y is equal to u cubed where u is equal to 5 minus x squared now if that's the case if y is equal to u cubed or u is equal to 5 minus x squared we can write the two of those down here well if u is 5 minus x squared du dx is just minus 2x differentiating a constant we get nothing taking the 2 down we get minus 2x but y is also equal to u cubed so if y is u cubed if we differentiate y with respect to the variable on the right for example, if y was x cubed, we'd say dy dx was 3x squared. So if y is u cubed, u on the right hand side now, dy du is 3u squared. So we're going to keep this table and we're going to use the formula for the chain rule. And in the chain rule we say dy du by du dx. So we're going to get dy du. dy du we have here and du dx we have as well. So dy dx is really 3u squared for dy du times du dx by minus the 2x. And those two du's are going to cancel. Now the situation here is that we have given our answer in terms of u, but u is a term we made up to be equal to 5 minus x squared. So we would like our answer just to have x's on this side. So substituting back, u is equal to 5 minus x squared. We can say dy dx is 3. And instead of u, we say 5 minus x squared squared by minus 2x. And that's our answer then for dy dx using the chain rule.